As the world faces economic uncertainty, it's troubling seeing the American people of tomorrow be so aimless. Seeking a direct cause to this issue isn't easy as many complications play a role, such as cultural values, family environment, and personality type. The sole crucial factor that we observe to be the catalyst to this problem is the American education system. The system's purpose is to prepare the new generation to enter the workforce. With many students entering college uncertain of what to make of themselves, it's safe to conclude that the American education system is becoming increasingly obsolete. I understand what you're saying. Some of those kids are ready for high school, but not Duquan. I've adopted him. You and your wife. You don't have children, do you? Not yet, no. Well, have some. For better, for worse, they're yours for life. The kids in this school aren't yours. You do your peace with them, and you let them go. Instrumental in the crippling of our education system since the 1930s, the academic practice of student promotion to the next grade level, regardless of academic ability, is prevalent in elementary and intermediate schools. The effects of social promotion are severely detrimental to the entire system, setting up students who haven't met the necessary academic level, unable to catch up, learn current grade material, and perform competently, positioning them for post-high school failures. It is socially irresponsible, as it teaches students that they can get by without effort, and it gives families a false sense of academic progress. The reason it's still practiced is that it's a cost-effective response to a poor academic performance, saving schools money that can be used for additional response measures such as summer school and tutoring. In recent years, however, schools have resorted to a severely desperate response that's more damaging to students and the system as a whole. Now, if you turn to page 11, please, I have some things I want to go over with you. I don't get it. All this so we score higher on the state tests? To read pages 11 if we're teaching the kids the test questions, what is it assessing in them? Nothing. It assesses us. The test scores go up. They can say the schools are improving. The scores stay down. They can't. Juking the stats. Excuse me? The manipulation of academic progress is attributed by desperation due to the No Child Left Behind Act passed in 2001. Schools on the brink of failure to meet the standards set by the act have decided to undermine it by giving up on teaching entirely and devoting their efforts to getting students to pass standardized tests, falsifying academic progress, and defeating the initial purpose of the act. Ironically, with such abuse of the act, it is the student not being left behind that will suffer consequences of a severe magnitude as they are being guided to fail. However, However, in spite of insurmountable complications, glimmers of hope emerge with the installation of a possible solution. How in the hell do we kick up percentages in math and reading both? You believe the numbers? 38% proficient. 8% advanced. What? Proficient means they're at least two grades below their level. Advanced can mean they're at grade level or a year below. They score them like that and... They say we're making progress. Inspired by the growing success of the CUNY STAR program at LaGuardia, we propose the creation of a mandatory course focusing on new students making career goals. Students would have to choose three careers prior to the semester. Each month, students will assess one of their chosen careers and become knowledgeable through class projects. By semester's end, students will have a grasp on their compatibility with their chosen careers. To ensure that students participate in the curriculum, the course would have credits.